Now we're going to start talking about the xcopy command, available in all uh, Windows operating systems. Now xcopy actually has a lot of different switches. If you do an xcopy slash question mark, there's a lot of switches there. So we're going to go through what the important switches are to most administrators. And first off, we've got the uh, xcopy slash q. If you use the slash q, that means it's quiet. So if you do any copying, you won't see a um, command prompt window that shows everything. That can be handy if you have already have a lot of windows open and you don't want to see them. Uh, if you do the slash f, then what that'll do is show the full source of everything that's being copied. It will show all the different directory structures all the way down to the file level, so you can see full detail there. I like to use the slash d a lot. If you do slash d colon followed by the date, then it'll only copy files from that particular uh, date and time going uh, backwards. Um, if you do it without the slash D, it's real handy if you're copying over to a, from one server to another because if there is any new files since the last time you copied, then just the slash D alone will allow just the copying of the new files from the source to the destination. So you can run that over and over and over and it'll only copy new files, not anything already copied that has the exact same date on it. Uh, if you do the slash E, it will copy subdirectories, including empty ones. So if you have any empty folders, then it will copy those as well. Slash C will copy uh, even if any errors come up, so it won't, it won't stop in the middle of the copying. It'll just, if it finds a file that's open, it'll just skip it and continue copying without stopping. If you do the slash H, uh, that will do uh, hidden files and folders as well, and uh, that's handy. If you do slash O, this will uh, copy the ownership information, and that will keep you from having to set up the security tab on the files and folders. It will copy that information over with it. Uh, if you do the slash Y, then that will uh, suppress the overwrite command. If it already sees that the file is there, it will not prompt you and stop copying. So if you're copying files from an old server to a new server, xcopy with those switches uh, is a great way to go. And uh, it will allow you to do all of that copying while you uh, go home for the night. And then the next day, you can do the slash D again. And if any files have changed overnight, then you can do those. So you can run the command one more time. So just to show all those different switches one more time that we like to use as administrators, you can do the switches that you're seeing right here, and then followed by the uh, source, which could be c colon backslash star dot star, and we could do the destination will be the new server or computer backslash C <coughs> dollar backslash star dot star and that will take the whole server's C drive or you could do D or whatever it is you want to do and it will copy that over. So we'll go ahead and do a simple copy right here. Let's go ahead and see what's in our directory. We have a file called test.txt and we have a directory called test1 so we're going to go ahead and copy test.txt into our test1 folder so we'll do x copy and our source is test.txt our destination is test1 backslash test.txt and it wants to know is this a file or is this a directory and we're going to say that our source is a file and our destination is a file so we'll hit F and it says it's copied. Uh, you could also do test1 backslash star dot star and if it's multiple files then it'll do all of them so we're going to overwrite since I did not do the suppression of the overwrite the slash y I will go ahead and say yes and now it's copied if we do a CD over to test1 I do a DIR 
we will see that it now contains the test.txt.